the colonoscopy clearly showed that I had a mass that was developing. So we found colon cancer in an early stage. The surgery was very successful. Overall, I'm feeling well. Hi, my name is Alejandro Mirazo. I am 56 years old. I live in Douglas, Arizona. I live here with my wife and two children. We have two older children that live on their own now. And I was diagnosed with cancer in January of 2022. First of all, I have a lot of confidence in the Mayo Clinic. When they came to me and said, would I like to participate in a broad study to expand our knowledge about the relation between cancer, other illnesses, and genetic variations. Immediately, I didn't think it twice. I said, I want to help out. I was only thinking that I could contribute to the tapestry study and not necessarily be impacted positively by it. But that's how it all started. I received a preliminary confirmation of a possible variant that is tied to Lynch syndrome that is also tied to colon cancer. I didn't think that I had cancer because I felt great. He explained, colon cancer is one of those illnesses that you may not feel any problems until it invades, I mean, a large part of your colon and other parts of your body. The whole month of February was doing a large number of tests to make sure it has not expanded beyond the colon. The surgery was very successful, but as a preventive measure, my oncologist suggested that I go ahead with chemotherapy. It will take three months in total, and we have four cycles. So I'm happy to participate, and I'm very happy that we found this at an early stage. I do have a family history of cancer. My grandmother had colon cancer in her 70s, but then one of my sisters had ovarian cancer in her 40s. The tapestry study identified that as a pre-risk for me and for my family. I had never heard of Lynch syndrome. It was, of course, a little bit scary when you start thinking about your kids and other family members who have not been tested. So we started that process of testing other family members. There is a specific protocol for screening with Lynch syndrome. The more specific things to continue to look out for is colon cancer, but there are other possibilities. So there's no easy solution forever. So. You fix what you, and you treat what you know, and you have to be vigilant. So I have discussed with family and friends, and many of them are not even aware that genetic testing exists today in a broader uh, use or as a broader tool for the, for the world. So that was eye-opening for some of them. And uh, so I took the opportunity to explain. So I think overall, this, what, I, what we're doing right now, is a good opportunity both for minorities and for the general population. We can communicate this broadly, but then we have to work on making it accessible to everyone. I believe that studies and clinical research should be expanded to minority communities and have a broader view of the impact of cancer, Lynch syndrome in these communities. We need to fund these research initiatives and we need Congress to participate heavily in this as an initiative for public health.